Scientists at NASA discovered a planet better for life than Earth. Have you ever wondered if life exists beyond our planet Earth? What if we told you that NASA has just made a groundbreaking discovery that could answer this very question? In this video, we'll explore a remarkable planet located in a distant corner of our galaxy, discovered by NASA's team of expert astronomers using a revolutionary new metric known as the Earth Similarity Index, or ESI. This world has a climate that is ideal for supporting complex organisms, and its oceans, rivers, and even continents bear a striking resemblance to our own. It's a world that's ripe with possibilities, a place where the impossible becomes reality, and the dreams of every space explorer finally come true. Join us as we delve into the possibilities of what this discovery could mean for the future of space exploration. Before we begin, do not forget to like and subscribe for more exciting updates on the frontiers of space exploration. Let's get started. Scientists have finally cracked the code to searching for life beyond our planet, and it's all thanks to a nifty new metric called the Earth Similarity Index, or ESI. It is a metric that scientists use to measure the similarity of a planet, or moon, to Earth based on various parameters, such as temperature, atmospheric pressure, and habitability. The ESI ranges from 0.0, .0 to 1, with 0.8 and 1 indicating that a planet is similar to Earth in every aspect. By using this metric, scientists can make the search for life beyond our planet more systematic and focused. To determine the ESI score of a planet, scientists look at factors such as its distance from its star, the star's temperature and size, the planet's size and mass, and the presence of water or other important molecules in its atmosphere. So, what have we found so far? In 2019, we discovered Tea Garden B, which is an exoplanet that has been discovered orbiting in the habitable zone of the Tea Garden star system. According to the Earth Similarity Index, Tea Garden B has been rated as 95% Earth similar, which means that it has a high potential for being similar to our planet in several ways. One of the most interesting features of Tea Garden B is its potential to have a temperate surface environment, with estimated temperatures ranging from 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius, which are similar to those on Earth. The surface temperature is estimated to be around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius, if its atmosphere is similar to Earth's. This is significant because the presence of liquid water is a crucial factor in determining a planet's potential to support life, and these temperatures suggest that Tea Garden B might be able to sustain liquid water on its surface. Tea Garden B's atmosphere is another crucial feature that scientists are interested in exploring further. Its atmosphere could provide insights into the composition and potential habitability of the planet. However, at this point, it is still unclear what gases make up its atmosphere and whether it contains any toxic gases or not. Another significant feature of Tea Garden B is its proximity to Earth, which makes it an ideal target for further research and exploration. At just 12.5 light-years away, it is one of the closest exoplanets to our planet, and this makes it much easier for scientists to observe and study it in more detail. But wait, Tea Garden B is not the only exoplanet orbiting this star system. It also has a distant relative known as Tea Garden C. It is the other planet discovered in the Tea Garden system, and is less likely to be habitable than Tea Garden B. It has a lower ESI score of 68%, indicating that it is less Earth-like than Tea Garden B. The planet is also farther away from its star, making it colder, with an estimated temperature of minus 52 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 47 degrees Celsius, and its atmosphere is more similar to that of Mars. Thanks to advances in technology, scientists have been able to uncover a multitude of exoplanets and moons that have striking similarities to Earth. Another such example has caught the attention of scientists for its potential to host habitable planets. 
There are at least four planets in this system, two of which are in the star's habitable zone. The most promising planets are TOI 700e and TOI 700d, which are rocky and have similar masses to Earth. TOI 700e has a 28-day orbital period and is 95% the size of Earth, while TOI 700d has a 37-day orbital period and is 105 times the size of Earth. The TOI 700 system is over 1.5 billion years old, providing ample time for biological activity to develop on its planets. If these planets have an atmosphere, they could potentially be much warmer than Earth, making them even more habitable. Recently, scientists announced the discovery of another promising candidate for extraterrestrial life. The planetary system, known as TRAPPIST-1, is located about 40 light-years away from us and has seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are located in the habitable zone. The most promising candidate for life is TRAPPIST-1e, which has an ESI score of 0.95, making it the most Earth-like planet discovered so far. It has a 60% probability of having a temperature surface environment with temperatures ranging from 0 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius, and if its atmosphere is comparable to Earth's, the surface temperature would likely be around 28 degrees Celsius. Scientists speculate that there may be more planets beyond TOI 700d, which could also support life. Evolution is a universal law of nature, just like gravity, and the principles of evolution on Earth can be applied to other planets. Through a process called evolutionary convergence, unrelated species can evolve similar adaptations to similar environmental challenges. Therefore, if two exoplanets have identical conditions, it's possible that life could arise on both planets and evolve in similar ways to adapt to their environments. Furthermore, the presence of similar conditions on exoplanets could also lead to the development of similar biochemistry. Life on Earth is based on carbon, so if the conditions on other planets are similar, there's a possibility that life on those planets could also be carbon-based. However, life in the universe may take on vastly different forms from what we know and understand, and it's important to keep an open mind to the possibility of discovering life that's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Now, before we dive deeper into this discussion, let's take a quick break to do something fun. Hit that like button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to our channel? Not only will you stay up to date with all the latest content, but you'll also join our community of curious minds exploring the fascinating mysteries of the universe. Now, we should understand that life on our planet is diverse and resilient, with organisms known as extremophiles thriving in extreme conditions that would be lethal to other life forms. These life forms can serve as models for potential unusual life forms that may exist on other distant planets. While the search for alien life has mainly focused on Earth-like planets, there is a possibility of finding life forms that are very different from what we know. Perhaps a world with unusual life forms may have a distinct and diverse set of planetary characteristics that set it apart from other more conventional planets. These characteristics may be required for the survival of extremophiles such as extreme temperatures, high levels of radiation, or high atmospheric pressure. Astronomers have discovered a new class of exoplanet known as the Hyacian planet, which is very different from Earth but may be able to support life. The Hyacian planets are hot, ocean-covered planets with hydrogen-rich atmospheres, allowing for a larger habitable zone compared to Earth. These planets also have different environments, with potentially habitable conditions only on their night sides and cold, icy conditions in parts receiving little radiation from their stars. Despite being up to 2.6 times larger than the Earth and having atmospheric pressures reaching nearly 200 degrees Celsius, the oceanic conditions could support microbial life similar to Earth's oceans. What's interesting is that biomarkers are easier to detect in the atmospheres of such planets due to their large size and higher temperatures compared to those of rocky exoplanets. Besides, a significant portion of the known exoplanet population, which is nearing about 5300, consists of planets that meet the criteria to be classified as Hyacian. 
One such mysterious world is called K218b, discovered in 2015, and is among hundreds of those found by NASA's Kepler spacecraft. Researchers believe that in some cases, planets like K218b could support life because they have biomarker molecules like methyl chloride and dimethyl sulfite. Life forms on a Hyshian planet would likely be based on hydrogen-based biochemistry, as hydrogen is the main component of such a planet's environment. This would mean that organisms there would have a fundamentally different structure from carbon-based life forms. They could be completely unknown to us and have a completely different appearance and structure from anything that we've seen before. There's even a possibility that we wouldn't be able to recognize life based on hydrogen biochemistry as living things. Therefore, there is much to explore and learn about the potential for life beyond our planet. Astronomers are excited about the upcoming opportunity to gather spectroscopic observations of Hyshian planets. These are hot planets, bigger than Earth, with atmospheres rich in hydrogen and surfaces that are completely covered by ocean. The James Webb Space Telescope already has the capability to examine their atmospheres. These discoveries could potentially lead to mind-boggling findings. Additionally, the concept of a superhabitable world has already been explored within the scientific community. These worlds would be older, slightly bigger, slightly warmer, and potentially more humid than Earth. They would orbit around stars that are older than our sun and have longer lifespans. Some stars can live longer than our sun's expected 10 billion years, providing more time for life to evolve. To find these superhabitable worlds, scientists have suggested looking for planets around K stars, or orange-red dwarfs, which are cooler and less luminous than sun-like stars, but have lifetimes ranging from 20 to 70 billion years. Compared to Earth, life on a planet orbiting such a star would have more time to evolve and adapt. The ideal age for a planet would be around 5 to 8 billion years, but no older, as it would eventually lose its interior geothermal heat and protective geomagnetic fields. There is no doubt that the discovery of another planet more suitable for life than Earth would have significant implications for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It would revolutionize the way we think about life and the possibility of finding intelligent life beyond our planet. If such a planet were found, it would provide an opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life to thrive in a different environment. It would allow us to explore new forms of life and understand the evolution of life on a different planet. This could help us better understand the conditions necessary for the emergence and sustainability of life in the universe. Most importantly, it would provide a potential backup plan for humanity in case of any catastrophic events on Earth that could threaten our survival. If we found another planet that could support life, we could potentially colonize it and ensure the continuation of our species. However, the discovery of such a planet could also raise ethical questions regarding our responsibility to preserve and protect life on Earth and the potential impact on any indigenous life forms on the new planet. It could also raise questions about the distribution of resources and access to a potentially habitable planet. So what kind of world would you choose to call home if you could live on any planet other than Earth, and why? Share in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and if you enjoy watching these videos, make sure to check this one out.